Girl, 125th Street. Oh, hey. People and the concrete. The hottest spot to work and play. Main Street, Harlem, USA. There oh. it is. There it is. One more time. <laughs> I that's am, our show for the night. I, right, am, I, am, I, night I am here because I am a huge, avid supporter of and fan of Luke Cage. Uh, I remember, my gosh, 1974. I was um, 15 years old, but the hot thing during that time was was comic books, man, and Marvel comic books. Right, yeah, as a matter of fact, I vowed to be an artist. I went to the High School of Music and Art. For oh. art, and I was trying to become not uh, Stan Lee, but Gary Bushima. All right, okay. Okay. who was All right. All right. the artist? This guy was incredible for Marvel Comics. Right now, now, now there was a competition DC and Marvel Comics during those days. Of course, we know DC Comics with Batman and Superman. Right. right. And, but Marvel just had them beat all the way around with Spider-Man and the Hulk. And, of course, you know, you got Iron Man. And uh, they had this guy who had his office on 125th Street. <laughs> <laughs> and I live, like, you know, 10 blocks away from there, right? So I'm from 140th Street, actually, right, and Convent Avenue. And 125th Street is, like, you know, like 42nd Street right. to us up in Harlem, right? Okay. So we go down and we play. But it was famous, and that's where the Apollo is. So Luke Cage, to me, was like a homeboy. Absolutely. I, I felt like we grew up together, you know? Yeah. And uh, just his whole story of how he was, you know, a crime fighter and uh, the police hated him. <laughs> oh, <it> sounds familiar <laughs> these days. <Yeah. laughs> On 125th Street. But, um, yeah, man, it, it was just um, those days, you know, um, we're coming out of the civil rights movement right. with, um, I remember being around in 1968 when, when Martin Luther King was, was killed, and RJ, uh, RFK, Robert, Robert um, Kennedy was killed, and uh, Malcolm X, JFK, civil rights movement. It was a rough and tough time for America. And those, but then came Alex Haley with that with uh, roots. roots. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what, what what year is that? 1976. I, wow. I, remember I mean, and 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 cats were just like you know, uh, pro black was the thing. You know, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. We we were a people that were trying to uh, get liberated and and become equal to everyone else in this society and New York being the melting pot that it is, uh, you know, equality and human rights was very, very important during that time. And Luke Cage just represented that for us, you know, up in Harlem in New York City. So I'm glad to be here and represent that time. I, that was